All right, guys. So some interesting things happened in the Court of Appeal, which, as you know, is conducting its hearing now as to whether there should be a retrial in the Vibes Cartel case. Now, let's start with the issue of cartel's health. Attorney Isaac Buchanan spoke to the court about this issue, and this they referred to as the ordeal point. In other words, that having a second trial, ordering a retrial, would be so much of an ordeal to Cartel and his co-accused in this case, that it would not be fair, it would not be in the interests of justice for that retrial to happen. So in doing so, Isaac Buchanan started referring to medical reports speaking about Cartel's health. And this was actually kind of funny because he started to talk about the kind of toll that the whole, you know, 13 years has taken on Cartel. And then he said he wouldn't go into the details of Cartel's medical condition to protect his privacy. So... Yeah, and this Isaac, brother. This Isaac, brother. As I'm saying to people, you see when you have a lot of people who are too smart and you have an individual who have when no little things and no little words and no certain information and certain things that we're not privy to, him can lead people astray now and take people for heed that in a car. You hear what I'm about? Him, Vibes Cartel, privacy was breached and his medical record. Who oh, send out their medical records? Them no, you make it public. You send your Fox News. You send your so you got ER. You got my interview. And you are discussing. And then you are bring the quota now. Hmm? You look stupid. That that's why judge have to laugh after you. Me tell the people this a this a case is laughable now. This is show up, show up Jamaica Incompe- incompetent, incompetent people we, 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 we get placed in a power. That's all, it's a show up right now, you know. It's stupid people, them. We are making laws, we are in control of this uh, so called justice system. Yeah. And that it's a show up, you know. Because we don't know how this man still. still has like arguments. Eh? Them when they are criminal, convicted criminals, is not on lack of evidence. And that. I don't know lack of evidence, evidence, did the evidence junk. So we don't know who are deliberate so long and, and a waste time. A waste time. Hmm? You know, how long you prove a council make this decision? You know, tell me, say, you know, never get up and come through all of this and, and no repercussion. And no one come after this. I don't know, you know. I don't know, you know. So this is a brother that talk about privacy and medical records. And you make it public, then you want to twist up, you know. Eh? And they are me that uh, they say smart and wise and a fight for justice and freedom. Stan Ho, he's saying that when the details of Cartel's medical condition are all over the internet. And, you know, I was kind of laughing here because no disrespect, counsel, absolutely no disrespect. But for real, it's kind of rich to hear talk about privacy when you just have to go on the internet and Google. So, for instance, over a year ago in 2023, a New York broadcaster, Lisa Evers, said she had seen the medical report speaking about Cartel's condition and speaking about the fact that he had Graves' disease, which is a disease that affects the thyroid. And Mr. Buchanan himself is quoted in interviews talking about Cartel's heart conditions, saying that his condition is life-threatening, describing some of his physical symptoms, saying, for instance, his face was swollen and and that, you know, um, his eyes were protruding. So, So again... Again, respectful. It's a little rich to hear all oh, privacy concerns. We're not discussing his medical condition. Anyway, after the judge called him on that, he, I guess he kind of realized that what she was saying was true. And then he did go on to, to give some more information. So he spoke, for instance, about that medical report. One of the doctors, Dr. Karen Phillips, and that medical report is dated June Third, he said 2024. Of course, the importance of that is to show that the medical conditions he's speaking about 
are still at this point in time affecting cartel. It's not something that happened in the past and that perhaps he's recovered from. So he spoke about the issue of the Graves disease. He spoke about his heart condition, saying that since last year, cartel has lost 50% of his heart function. He also spoke about mental issues, speaking here now about a, a separate medical report on his mental health, which a Dr. Walcott had done, showing that that he's been suffering from the stresses of this ordeal, that he's been an, a, exhibiting symptoms of anxiety. And, and Mr. Buchanan also said that he was suffering from, I, I'm using his words here, suffering from a mental weakness brought on by the ordeal. And the point he's making with all of this is that um, cartel can't go through another trial in fact he said as much he said the medical opinion is that he would not be able to sustain a second trial he spoke about his financial issues as well saying that you know he spent so much over over the years on this trial and that again it would be a, a tremendous burden and ordeal for him to have to go through a second trial in circumstances where he was not at fault stick a pin here this is referring of course to the fact that the convictions were quashed because the privy council said the trial judge that's a judge who who presided over the trial made an error in allowing the so-called tainted juror to continue on the jury he was tainted he's ref this is laughable people this beyond laughable jamaica one of the biggest puppy show country in the world because they were man, cartel and co accused. These men are convicted criminals. They were found guilty by the laws of Jamaica. Alright? Alright. Them launch appeal, them carry a privy council, privy council say, yo, you know, say, the Jew where we did bribe and him should not get dismissed and the case should not start over. And that go on in the people, so. You see, oh, the defense. Liar. Oh, they ma try turn the narrative to say, oh, cartel is sick and cartel is dead and they lack intimacy and they need relationship and they do a lot of time and the rights and their rights have been breached and their constitutional rights. Remember, you know, people, these people are convicted criminals, you know, convicted murderers, you know, known criminals, you know, known violence producers, you know. And we have this Jamaican justice system where I deliberate from Monday, you know. Monday, they are deliberate, you know. And I be a stupid thing, me see. I come on the table, you know. Nobody now say, oh, them people are innocent, you know. And they are being wrong, wrongfully held. And notice, you know, people that in their narrative, none tell I be a medical, medical. And so, wife, you know, sick. Wife, murderer, sick. Wife, youngsters. Heart a bust up. Who cares about you? Who cares for you? You never know that this is a feeling you're going to you choose badness and choose to run here and choose to murder man. You don't come use the sick, the sick, sick argument and them and them judge and run on the way and this Mr. son out of court, brother. Me? Everybody not sick. I don't understand them people. Everybody not sick. Everybody not sick, much man that prison sick as sick as sick at the hospital. But no, all of a sudden, we only forget Lego car on the sick. At this is a big defense, this is a big argument. Here, Cartel has lost 50% of his heart function. He also spoke about mental issues, speaking here now about a, a separate medical report on his mental health, which a Dr. Walcott had done, showing that he's been suffering from the stresses of this ordeal, that he's been a, a, exhibiting symptoms of anxiety. And, and Mr. Buchanan also said that he was suffering from, I, I'm using his words here, suffering from a mental weakness brought on by the ordeal and the point he's making with all of this is that um, 
cartel can't go through another trial. In fact, he said as much. He said the medical opinion is that he would not be able to sustain a second trial. He spoke about his financial issues as well, saying that, you know, he spent so much over over the years on this trial and that, again, it would be a, a tremendous burden and ordeal for him to have to go through a second trial in circumstances where he was not at fault. Stick a pin here. This is referring, of course, to the fact that the convictions were quashed because the Privy Council said the trial judge, that's a judge who, who presided over the trial, made an error in allowing the so-called tainted juror to continue on the jury. He was tainted. He's referred to that because he tried to bribe other people on the jury to have them vote not guilty in the matter. It was reported to the judge and the judge decided to allow the trial to continue. The Privy Council said that was basically a fatal mistake and that because of that, the convictions were quashed. So back to Mr. Buchanan. So Mr. Buchanan is saying that, hey, none of this was Cartel's fault and he is now having all these health issues. So it would not be in the interest of justice for him to be forced to undergo a second trial. Interestingly, he was citing from what we call authorities, meaning cases in which the courts have looked at similar issues in the past and have said, you know, made determinations, made rulings. And one of the cases he was citing said that, that a person should not be made to suffer this kind of ordeal, a retrial, a second time, unless though, here's the kicker, unless it is in the interest of justice. And I'm going to come back to that. What else happened? Well, one of the other co-accused, Kahira Jones, his lawyer who was addressing the court said, one of the issues that Kahira Jones has been having is that he hasn't been able to have a personal life and an intimate life. Of course, they're talking here about, you know, being able to sustain a personal relationship, have a sex life, you know, uh, those things that go into making a full life and making the point that he feels that he has lost his prime. He's been in prison for the last... So what? So what if they, if they have heart attack? What if they have an ordeal? What if they catch heart attack and drop down in a court over one next future? What does that have to do with nothing? These ones are convicted murderers and criminals, you know? When I come talk about ordeal, what they go through? Well, all of a sudden, when I push your rights a criminal, I write a criminal playing people are fight for you. I first me I say this to my life. Come out people write a breach, come out poor people, innocent people when I come in a crime. And all of a sudden, these criminal are gonna face ordeal and they, they cannot face a real child and the stress on their mental health. Where are they where are they tire tire at this? As of me old people them would have said, where they tire tire at this and you know? all? What is that? Oh, this even be a question. Oh, this even be an issue. We not come talk about our deal with them and I go face and what they? Oh, people, me can't believe. Jamaica is a big old puppy show. Puppy show country in every aspect. Every aspect. Eh? Oh, this even be a question. Oh, oh, this even be something my people are consider even make sense. This will get dismissed right away. But our deal we are go through. Eh? We not murder as you. We do not kill man and I cut up body fine fine and I destroy evidence and I do what I do. And I not that. And I not that. We can go through that and laugh and burn with and drink and liquor and it come like nothing. But for fierce justice now. For fierce justice and fierce the consequences I la. We not go fierce our deal. We not hard can manage. We not go jack down in a court. We not sick and mental. People, I can't believe what they're making. I'm more so proper this. I must some distraction from the real constitutional skull with them people are pull off. I must that this ever you Cause all of us on this big big child and now we are catch we are capture the whole of Jamaica attention. And every politician them now, we are screeching the constitutional reform power we in up on the side, you know. So I must some big cause people this can't see us. Them arguments are, are laughable arguments, them people. I don't know anything about them, but anything and just laughable. What the hell do I tell about mental state of criminal for? Who cares? When I drop down or anything, I'm too, I'm too, man. Just like when the victims, them. Eh? When you get a chance. When people are big, not no boss, no boss, and after them say, Watch your big feel life, watch my big feel life. No, you know, a ball ball, intimacy. What the? 
people me are telling her this is so weird you have big old people big old ass staring people big old ass staring people you know I talk about justice and rights for criminals you can't see it no people this does point to way to love for criminals and we love for hype and we love for clout and who is trending and poor and you know them really people I that to respect you know that's all the majority of Jamaicans respect you know when we hear I give their opinion on that case you know everybody I talk about man rights breach and constitutional rights all of a sudden you know that already about constitutional rights see go with they have a fight for cartel and when we say we mean the Jamaican public you know we they have fight for cartel and a fight for criminal rights and a protest and a ta- speak up for criminals. Criminals, you know, not speak up for them. You know. Meanwhile, this a government, you know, a pass the constitutional reform and they're quiet, you know. I bring in all type of things, but we no impeach it, no recall, no this, no that. That them people are doing, I bring in, but we are sliding, you know. and we they are speak up for criminal. I, I, I stand up for criminal. In people, I, I, this a type of country we live in. A different type of people in our country. Majority. You <laughs> this This is a popish country. Man, they are different. A different rights a criminal. And I talk about me no want hear nothing about that. Go and go ask El Salvador. Go and go ask the, the, the president over there about rights. Rights a criminal. No more friends with them mad this year. When they man do it, I do what they action and I carry out their crime. They might think about rights of people. They might think about rights of other people. Yo, I say I want big puppy show system. This is how we live in a people. Big puppy show. This is how the beta should not go on so long. I read child from the first day. We don't have a crime and suffer. We don't want you nothing more like that. Me, born in hell. Don't go dead in a prison. All the better. Less problem for Jamaica taxpayers. Less problem in a, in a, in a Jamaica.